Hello and welcome to our phonics lesson number two this week. Well done for playing all your games and joining in with that. Let's just open the screen. Okay, so we're going to pop the bubble. We're going to do these quickly. Let me just move myself down there so I'm not in the way. We're not going to do them all. So what's this one? Ooh, well done. Ooh or uh, well done. E, fantastic. Let's go down here. Oh, this is one we don't know yet. This one is oi, oi. Let's try this one. Oh, this one was last week's. So you should know this one. It's ah, or if you're like me, ah for the pirate. Let's do one more. What sound is that one? Oh, oh, well done. That's our revisit and review. So let's find out what phonic sound we are learning today. So here is today's. We have an E and an R, the E and the R. And when you put them together, they make the sound uh. Can you all have a go at saying that at home? Uh, well done. Fantastic. Is it a bean or a sausage? Yep, you're there, two letters, one sound, it is a sausage. So it's the sound er, uh, and this one, um, the song is all about a mixer. So the mixer in the bowl, like this. So we're mixing the food up, just like when some of you were cooking last week for healthy eating. And it goes, the mixer in the bowl goes er, uh, er, uh, er, uh, er, uh, er, uh, er. Uh. Uh, 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 the mixer in the bowl goes, uh, 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 mixing the food together. Okay, so what's that sound today? Fantastic, well done. We are ready to go on and do some blending. Okay, let's move on to our word reading. So here we go. We're gonna park the green ones over there. In fact, if I can. Let's not distract ourselves. Let's do this. Okay, so top one here. I'm going to draw in the sausages and the beans. I'm gonna look straight for the sausage straight away. And there it is. Well done. So let's blend that together. Uh, her. Fantastic, we've got her. And here is a picture of a girl and there is her bag and her shoes and her t-shirt, fabulous. So what are we going to do next? Let's move on to the next one. Look for that sausage. There we are, we can see it there. There's the er uh sound. Oh, now my pen is, I've got a bean there and a bean there. So let's blend that one together. Are you ready? First sound is uh, b, herb. Okay, well done. And for those of you who don't know, a herb, here we go, it's a plant, but it's a plant that's got to, that we can cook with and it's got smells. When we go over to the allotments, the mint is over there. Quite often we rub the mint and smelt it in our hands. Mint, um, basil, sage, all these different ones, that is a herb and we can cook with them. So that is herb, well done. And it's quite hard when you've got that soft to begin with to hear the word. So don't worry if you need a little bit of help. Right, the next one we're going to blend without putting our beans and sausages on. We're going to have a go. So have a look at it. See if you can see that sausage first of all. And then we're going to blend it together. Are you ready? Uh, do. Herd. Nearly like herb, but the d instead of the b. And here we are. We've got a herd of cows. So a herd is like a group of a herd of cows. Well done. Can hear the children coming back and now we've got red in our head so we're going to do this one in our head if you need to blend it out loud that's absolutely fine that's what you're learning on so put those sounds in your head are you ready what are you, have you said it well done if you've had a go if not blend with me uh hmm fern and this is a fern and it's a type of plant. And actually we've got them in and around the school. So that is a fern. Well done for blending those. If you want a further challenge, I'm just gonna move myself over here. 
we've got some green words that are a bit trickier because if you notice the er was always in the middle is it always in the middle mm, let's have a look at these words first of all find the sausage and look that er is at the end have we got any other sausages we certainly do look there's another one there oh mrs thomas has made this really tricky by adding now we've got one two three four sounds there are four sounds here so this is going to be a bit trickier this is why we're this is the challenge one so let's have a go B -I -G -A. let's do it one more time a bit faster B -I -G -A. bigger well done fantastic now if your child struggles with four sounds what you can do is forget the er uh, on the end Hide that, work on the word, so we can go b -i -g, big, and then you can go big, uh, bigger. So that's chunking, breaking, the, breaking it down into words and blending. Um, it just helps sometimes if they can't hear those four sounds, but they're quite confident and want to have a go. So let's have a look at the next one and look, there it is again. The er uh is at the end of the word. So this, this sound can be in the middle of a word, but it's also at the end. Interesting. And there we go, we've got that. So this time we're gonna have a go. We're gonna forget, I can see the er uh on the end. We're gonna forget about that. Let's blend it without that. So we're gonna go l, a, d, lad. And then I'm gonna add the er, uh, lad, uh, ladder. Fantastic. Well done. That is chunking. So you can read longer words. Absolutely amazing. Now I've got a massive challenge here. We've got a monster word. So with monster words, we always add our beans and sausages because we don't want them to trick us. And they're really, really naughty, those monsters. So I can see my uh, I can see another one there. And then that one must be a bean. So have a go at blending that one. Let's have a go together. Are you ready? Sh, uh, d, shirt. What a weird word. It's made up. It's monster. It could mean anything, but it's not a real word. So, but we still need to learn to blend them. So well done to you guys. Right. Now I'm going to challenge you with some writing. Let me move myself out of the way again. I'm always in the way. So we've got our picture of our ferns. We're going to say the word and then break the sounds down to have a go with writing. Fern. Fern. Mm. Fern. And I've added the beans and sausages. So we've got fern. Uh, mm. And I've even put the er uh up here to help you. Okay, it's there to help you. Well done, have a go at that one, pause the video and have a go. Okay, the next one, can you remember what this one was? Something that we grow on our allotments and you can put in cooking. Well done, it is a herb. So we're all gonna say herb, herb, herb. Fantastic, pause the video and have a go at writing that one as well. And lastly, we've got well, this is, somebody has written a letter, a letter. Now, this is a challenge. You can see here, you've got bean, bean, sausage, sausage. So we're going to have a go with that one. Ready? Letter. L-E-T-E-R. Letter. Challenge yourself for that one. And I'm just going to point out, this is a sausage. And when you get to that sound, have a think what you might need to do to that letter um, to that letter, yeah, um, to actually get a sausage, because sometimes, remember, we have a double letter. Ooh, okay. When you've done that, if you want that further challenge, we have got that simple sentence to have a go. Practice, remember, you have a capital letter, finger spaces, and end with a full stop. We've practiced some of the letters in cursive, so make sure your work is in cursive when you're writing for the letters we have practiced. So the sentence is, it, it is a, and then you can pick one of them, fern, herb, letter, and then full stop. 
challenge yourself to that sentence, a sentence a day, and you will soon be writing absolutely brilliantly. So well done. Keep going. Challenge yourself every day. We're really proud of you. Fabulous. Well done, guys.